Hi guys, welcome to this presentation on bridging the, the legacy gap in the modern workplace. So I did like a presentation a couple of months back in uh, a user group in Denmark called Everything User Group. And there's been a big ask for doing an, a recording of this session online and sharing it. And I haven't had really had, had time for, for doing a recording. So it's pretty late here, so bear with me. It's it's like 15 minutes past uh, midnight so i'm a bit tired but wanted to share this anyway so here we go a bit about me before we start i'm an asia mp been an asia mp for the last two years i focus primarily on the asia platform and uh, also have a big focus on asia access directory identity as well so which is why I also talk at some of the user meetings, user group meetings that talk a bit about uh, enterprise mobility specifically and how you bridge the gap. Everything is actually tying together these days in cloud application and so on. So let's get started. Wherever I do a presentation on cloud, I like to show this slide that <laughs> We are taking on a journey by Microsoft to the cloud, an ever-changing journey, a continuously journey, continuous journey to the cloud. In an ever-changing environment, both on our Windows devices on the cloud. So you always probably see this today with all the new things, stuff coming out all the time, every day. But the key point here is that Microsoft is rapidly providing a strong platform in Azure AD join. Um, for actually bridging the gap between legacy application and modern application and in solving many of the issues we have with modern management and modern workplace environment where we bridge the gap between a traditional workstation and a modern workstation where we get basically the best of both world, worlds. You see uh, Microsoft is introducing like co-management as well. You have Intune, you have config manager and so on for managing devices you have hybrid environment where you actually now are able to both sign into application on premises but also to cloud applications so this is just basically what i'll show you today so basically the key takeaways is uh Michael is still heavily investing in uh, cloud only sales scenarios but still trying to uh to bridge uh, create a bridge between the current environment and the new environments, basically the hybrid scenarios and um, trying to actually enable the enterprise environments to uh, to have legacy applications work in a cloud um, in a cloud uh, only environment or hybrid cloud environment so yeah basically that and so with this slide uh, I would like to show that uh, Microsoft Azure Active Directory and the on-premises Active Directory go especially hand in hand. I really like this slide. It really showcases what Microsoft is trying to achieve with creating a hybrid scenario for users in modern management and modern workplace as well. So trying to go into the details on how this uh, stuff works, let me just show you this. Uh, this next slide, this illustrates a user. Let's just call her Dora. Dora is signing into her Windows Azure Active Directory joint device. As she signs in, she are, she's authenticated against their Azure Active Directory. She gets her primary refresh token for accessing cloud resources. And when she accesses on-premises resources or try to access on-premises resources while she connected to the on-premises network, she will be able to get a Kerberos ticket. Let me say it again, a Kerberos ticket from the domain controller. So she's both cloud authenticated and domain authenticated at the same time. And now we have these two magic tokens that actually allows us to both authenticate to the cloud and get access to OneDrive or 365 and all the other 
neat stats that you might have provisioned within your attack to threat break. And the other part is you also have the Kerberos ticket, where you're able to access on-premises resources that you're currently using in a legacy fashion, say your print server, your file server, whatever application you might be running that supports Windows authentication. So let me just show you this in action and in my environment. So what I have here is two virtual machines running. I have a domain controller and I have a client running. This is a 2012 R2 domain controller. It's set up with the Ajax Tracker Sync. I'm singing out some identity and Ivanka and Donald Trump. I'm singing out. And um, besides that, there's nothing basically going to run on this server. I have some shares I've provisioned. So let me just show you that. A share here, demo folder. I have a print server, a share, print, printer I shared on this, this, one, this server as well. And on the client side, let me show you that. I have an Azure Active Directory joint client, not a domain joint client, which enables me to sign in with identity that's pushed out to Azure Active Directory or identity that provisioned within Azure Active Directory. So let me just show you that. So let me just go down here. Let me just put my power here. Who am I? And you see I'm um, Donald Trump. And besides that, let me just show you Kalis. So here you see I have my Kerber ticket for Kerber cast tickets for signing into the domain. So if I were to actually access resources, I'm able to do so. So that's quite neat. And just to show you that this is not actually a fake machine or something something that's the main joint, let me just provision a profile or a, a user within the Dash Active Directory. And uh, let's see what happens. happens. So let's just, for the sake of this, Presentation called him Mike Pens. Pens at Cloud Crew at JC Profile Mike Pens. Okay. Yes, is the user. Let's get the password. We need that from signing the first time. So let's just put that into Notepad. Okay, create. There we go. Let's just open up an incognito session. Go to portal Azure. Let's go to portaloffice.com. Office.com. Pens at cloud proof. SDK. Pass the password. Click pass link. Change it to super secret password one two three super secret password one two three. Yes. Sign in. Let's minimize. Let's sign into our client again. So. 
them out. And I'll sign in again. But this time, instead of signing in with Donald Trump, I signed in with the newly created user. Mike Pence. So this is basically it. So we enabled hybrid environment where we able to access both corporate devices, printers, uh, files, yes, applications that is used uh, in a hybrid environment for users that's already provisioned in our active directory. Um, we enabled new created, newly created users within Nash Act directory to also use the same device, which is enabled hybrid environments, hybrid scenarios, where we can trans transition or move some users to the cloud and have some remaining on premises, enable them to use hybrid scenarios in that way. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, short, late presentation. And you have any comments? And um, please, uh, please put your comments into to the YouTube uh, comments area. And I'll try to reply as as soon as I have time for that. And yeah, thank you.